snowstorm and guess what guys right now it's 32 degrees but <laughs> in about four hours it's gonna be 60 degrees crazy right let's go to work Still snow. Okay. tire gotta check that out and did a quick reconnaissance of some of our property again we don't have a large perimeter that we actually service so the issue that i found is that we are <laughs> we have a lot of snow on uh, on these properties um the areas where the the sunlight is not hitting um we have a lot of snow pretty nice accumulation for this part of country um it's supposed to be up to 62 63 today so i went ahead and called my guy and told him hey listen go ahead and chill for the day and then we can just uh, double up on what we have uh, going tomorrow so it's no issue because you know he gets paid by by the week anyway um, that's one thing that we do we keep I, mean, I keep one guy on uh, throughout the winter because again it's only it's, an, it's, it's enough work for two of us so it makes no sense to have um, a whole bunch of guys but no big deal we'll keep uh, chugging along and doing what we do best. All right, let's keep it moving. Damn. Can you believe this? <laughs> Two 
flats in one freaking day. <sighs> All right. On this one, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and inflate it. <laughs> and then I'll worry about this later. Hey guys, for you guys who don't have a uh, air compressor, get you one of these tanks. It's an 11 gallon tank. Um, I bought this at Harbor Freight and I paid 11, in between 11 and 15 bucks. Guys, 11 and 15 bucks, what I do is, want, you know, I keep it in my truck or I keep it in here, fill it up and you have air you have a lot of air you know matter of fact one of these uh, 11 gallon tanks will probably fill up all four tires eh, maybe three but who cares if if it actually fill one tank up then it's worth the money right cool so since we don't have anything going on today guys i'm gonna take some time and just kind of fix the floorboard here let me show you what's going on with them with all the in and out in and out see the screws came out everything over here is good this is good this is fine just here I gotta put in like two or three screws get some of you I'm gonna use some Loctite premium guys just to kind of lock it into place So the floor is good. We're good to go. What I did was buy bigger screws, guys. Nice and tight. So everything looks good. Hey guys, so today was pretty outstanding. Um <laughs> just my luck. We mess around and here we are going back home because there's too much snow still on the ground well it's supposed to be uh, 60 to 65 today so hopefully things will kind of melt <clears throat> and Quest and I can uh, start back tomorrow and do what we have to do now let's talk about pricing guys um, I get a lot of comments and questions about pricing you know, anytime I, I bid a price or give you a price on my videos, I get guys that say, you know, dang, that's too high. Or, well, man, that's too low. So what I want to let you guys know and remind you is that we're all different. Um, you have a different type of turf that you're dealing with. Uh, you have a different location your income class may be different to the one that I'm targeting. And again, once you are established, guys, then you are most likely to get the price that you're requesting. I remember when I first started in this business and I was out there, you know, my first year or two, I'd get a lot of flack, you know, oh, my pro, oh, that's, that's too high. You know, can we work on the price? Can we this? Can we that? And this was 
a whole hell of, hell of a lot, guys. But now I find myself that, you know, now that I'm known in the area that I work at, you know, they see my guys, you know, I don't get that issue. You know, I tell them, hey, this is how much it's going to cost. And that's how much I get. And for those that say, you know, I, I still get it now and then. Oh, well, that's too expensive. Okay, you know, whenever, uh, you know, get your other estimates or whatever. And whenever you're ready, you know, give us a buzz. If I, you know, I get it. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But the last thing I want to do, guys, is work or do something just because. You know what I mean? You know, this is a business. I don't care how much, you know, you may say, you know, I do this because I love it. I mean, I love what I do, but guys, come on now. You have a family and you have bills to pay. You know, I understand the love, but love don't put food on the, on the, on the table, you know? And I, I'm sorry to sound harsh like that, but you know, this is a business. And in order to be better at what you're doing, you gotta have the right equipment to do the job. Simple as that. And I'm sure some of you guys are gonna be like, no, no, you know, it's all about, you know, this and that and the other. But again, guys, you know, you're in this business because you need, you know, you need money. You need money to maintain your family. You need money to, you know, buy the things that you want, you know. And, you know, this equipment is not cheap, and you know that. You guys know that. This equipment is not cheap, guys. So let's start, you know, kind of sort of change your frame of mind sometimes. Um, my target is not the same targeted customers that you are targeting. Nine years here in March, and we are established you know, we know what we're doing. Uh, we are in sync with our business plan. And that's another thing. Do you have a business plan? Or are you just winging it? You know? And, and don't get me wrong. Business plans change. But you got to have something that guides you towards what you want. You know, you can't just say, I want to grow my business. And I want to I wanna have 16 trucks. Come on, guys. Let's be realistic here. It don't work like that. You gotta have a business plan. You gotta know business in order to be successful in this business. This is a business. You know, mowing lawns, you can train guys. That's the only way you're gonna be successful is learning how to run a business. So when you see all these guys putting up videos on, on you know, how to get your numbers and how to be more efficient in what you're doing. You know, pay attention to what they're saying because believe me, guys, that is a big part of your business. Just going out there mowing lawns, it's easy to pick up a property here, but then, you know, how you gonna, how you, you know, how are you pricing your, 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 your maintenance? How are you gonna get money from that customer? You know, what kind of warranty do you have on your, on your, performance you know all of that encompasses what we do all right guys i want to bore you let me go ahead and uh park and get up out of here have a great one guys